Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Sweet Justice. After teacher kneels during anthem, she gets plowed by karma. The NFL doesn't know how to handle its anthem protesters, but one school district in California does. Last week, a teacher at Woodland High School unfurled a banner at a school event that read Black Lives Matter and it's okay to disagree with any sign here. According to the Daily Wire. But the teacher got one thing wrong. It's not okay to disagree with the school when it comes to the anthem. After she kneeled during the Star Spangled Banner, she was suspended by the school. The suspension is paid, for now, but according to a letter sent to parents, the teacher has limited rights to speech as an educator. While teachers do retain certain First Amendment rights in their capacity as an instructor, such rights are limited by education code and case law, the letter reads. Their personal, political or religious beliefs are not appropriately expressed at school or in the classroom. Instead, the appropriate and legal instructional role is one of neutral facilitator, one to facilitate student discussion and intelligent analysis of current events. This school district no doubt made the right decision. Too bad the NFL isn't as sensible. Comment Justice. And share if you love our flag. The stars and stripes need defending. Judge Janine Pirro exposes why Trump supporters about to be in serious physical danger. The liberal hatred against President Trump and his supporters is getting more and more dangerous. But in a recent monologue, Pirro just explained why things are about to get much worse. It's unlike anything I've seen in my lifetime. With conviction and an air of condescension, the left so hates Donald Trump and those who support him that they sanction the use of violence against them. They are attempting to recast our legal system without authority to do so, without legislative sanction and without judicial intervention," said Pirro. To them, the use of physical and justified if they disagree with your politics. The very ones who call you call you fascist, and label themselves anti-fascist, or antifa, are changing the rules, propagating a legal theory that is not only outrageously incorrect and affront to democracy, it's an outright attempt at anarchy she said. Many conservatives have experienced violence against them just for supporting our president. YouTube star Blair White recently tried a social experiment where she walked through Hollywood with a Make America Great Again hat on. A stranger stomped on her hand, another poured burning liquid on her right on camera. Are you sick of all the hatred against conservatives? Pro-Trump Roseanne predicts huge story that will break this week, lots of people about to become woke. It surprised many that former liberal Roseanne Barr ended up switching sides and becoming a strong supporter of populist outsider Republican Donald Trump. However, since Roseanne herself comes from the same working class that she depicted in his hit sitcom Roseanne, she clearly understands how alienated regular Americans became from Democrats and establishment Republicans. Roseanne has proved to be useful for Trump's cause by making use of her insider's knowledge of the leftist entertainment industry to counter their non-stop attacks against Trump and his agenda. She recently detailed over Twitter about how Trump is about to take serious action against innocent children who were exploited by Hollywood abusers. Wrote Roseanne, lots of PPL will become woke half this week. She added, Trump opposes child trafficking and knows exactly where the locos is not many PPL are brave enough to know, or remember or contain the information most blank out. She went on, I perceived Hollywood's sexism to be so pervasive as to not even be noticed it was class-based discrimination, with racial undertones based in anti-Semitic sato spiritual necropatoism. Hashtag this is now. Roseanne concluded. All that really matters is that we stop the suffering of the world's innocent children. We can do it BC it's the right thing to do and this is the age of Aquarius. 
G0D is with us now. Let's roll. Conservative saw Town Hall backed up Roseanne's assertion, and stated, this should be one of the biggest stories in the national news. Instead, the mainstream media has barely, if at all, covered any of these mass pedophile arrests. This begs the question, why? They also said, there have been a staggering 1,500 plus arrests in one short month, compare that to less than 400 sex trafficking related arrests in 2014, according to the FBI. It's been clear to me for a while that Trump would make human trafficking a top priority. Are you glad Trump is going to take a stand against this horrible abuse? Clooney rips Dem 2020 candidates, there's nobody that lights up the room, do you agree? Out of all the knee-jerk liberals in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, actor and director George Clooney just might be the single most obnoxious one, tied perhaps with Miley Cyrus. You wow will naturally assume, then, that Clooney would be cheerleading the Democratic Party's efforts to find a candidate to challenge Republican President Trump within 2020. It came as a surprise, then, that Clooney recently poured some very cold water on potential Democratic contenders and confessed that none of them lights up a room in the same way charismatic Donald Trump does. Stated Clooney in an interview with Britain's The Sunday Times, Trump, for all his terrible instincts, is very charismatic. A TV star. He went on to claim, people didn't vote for him because he accomplished anything. They knew him. And they were, like, He's exciting. He says outlandish stuff. That's fun. He's got a star on Hollywood Boulevard. He then described his frustrations with Democratic politicians, saying, I sat with a Democratic committee and said, you guys keep coming to us for money, but you don't come to us for the one thing we know how to do, which is make a poster that steals opening weekend. But we don't have a good Democratic candidate yet. We don't have anybody who lights up a room. Clooney added that, like Trump, you need someone who can light up the room. You need what Barack Obama had, he showed up and you went, that guy speaks to my voice. George further slammed Democrats by saying, Democrats in general are very passive. In debates, the Republican will go, that guy's bad, and that guy's good. And the Democrat will say, well, I understand what you're saying, because your parents were alcoholics. And the reality is that you need people who go, that's good. That's bad. Are you surprised Clooney was willing to be so honest about Democrats' weakness compared to Trump? Judge Janine just said why it's dangerous to be a Trump supporter right now. It is sad how little help Republican President Donald Trump has been getting from members of his own political party, as well as from some so-called conservatives in the media. It is frankly bizarre the way that this group of Republicans has been blocking Trump from carrying out his conservative agenda for America. Worse yet, of course, is the treatment that President Trump has gotten from liberals. Disturbingly, this same treatment from the left has also spread to attacks on Trump's many supporters among regular Americans. In a recent opening statement to her Fox News show, former District Judge Janine Pirro discussed why these are now very dangerous times to be a Trump backer. Described Pirro, using Antifa violence in California and the shootings of Republican congressmen as examples, it's unlike anything I've seen in my lifetime. Janine went on with conviction and an air of condescension, the left so hates Donald Trump and those who support him that they sanction the use of violence against them. They are attempting to recast our legal system without authority to do so, without legislative sanction and without judicial intervention. To them, the use of physical and justified if they disagree with your politics. She added, the very ones who call you call you fascist, and label themselves anti-fascist, or antifa are changing the rules, propagating a legal theory that is not only outrageously incorrect and affront to democracy, it's an outright attempt at anarchy. Do you agree with Janine?
After Goodell said players could still kneel, Trump crushed the NFL with these six words. Today, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell came out and said that all players should stand for the national anthem. He then decided it would be prudent to not impose a rule on standing for the national anthem. Goodell was speaking to reporters from Wednesday and said that it is important for the league to respect our flag and our country. Immediately, Trump slashed back with the following. That pretty much sums it up. Too much talk, not enough action. Stand for the national anthem. Goodell has been trying to play hooky and defend both the players' actions and reach out to the fan base that he has alienated. We are not afraid of the tough conversations, Goodell said earlier. Out of those discussions, players, understand that owners and the NFL do really care about the issues. This is why you don't mess with Trump. He'll tear you up with the truth. Share this if you are sick and tired of the NFL doing nothing but talking. They should be focusing all their time respecting our troops and playing the damn game. Not kneeling. This investigator went on Lou Dobbs and leaked sick thing Deep State is planning for Trump. Chris Farrell is the director of investigations and joined Lou Dobbs tonight to talk about the deep state scandals that are consuming Congress, the Secret Service and Department of Justice. Chris Farrell, it's really a giant socialist organ operating that protests itself. Offense after offense and you find laws are for the little people. The Clinton gang walks away. People say, hey where's the Department of Justice investigation? Where's the FBI? Half the time they're complicit. The people with direct first-hand knowledge, they're the ones who kept their mouths shut for years. This is evidence that we are becoming a failed state. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. When the entire Justice Department is paralyzed. When the entire Justice Department is compromised when there is no investigations. There's these make-believe congressional hearings that are nothing more than sound bites. The U.S. is on its last legs. We cannot let Clintons walk away. They are complicit in the biggest cover-up in U.S. history. We will not have a nation if we don't prosecute. Spread this everywhere if you want Hillary to be thrown in prison before it is too late for this country.